Just Blossom Brown. Ain't no sidetrack. Right. They don't do it. They don't do it. They don't allow it. I remember that case with uh, uh, the, the girl that was missing, uh, Sandra Levy. Is the, uh, the, they use a euphemism. They say, they say she was fooling around with the congressman. She was an uh, intern. That's, that's the word they use about it. <laughs> 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 I'm a Washington, D.C. politically correct term. Intern. So she, they was on the airport married most morning. And I remember that somebody called in and said, man, was she, was, this, was she fooling around with this married man? Before she could finish the sentence, they shut it down. Hold on, wait a minute. Don't say the man, who you just this young lady is missing? That's it, that's all. <laughs> uh, 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 Nicole Simpson, they young man, they didn't play it. So man, it's colonized people, man, it's oppressed people, man. We have to take the position, again, no. I, I want to commend the community for taking that position. I'm talking about, man, Justice for Oscar Grant, you know what I'm saying, we demand it. And we say, sky's the limit. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 again, it's so much that we got to address everything from the foreclosure to the police terrorism. A lot of people say, what they got to do with this? We say everything is political. Because the reality is, the reason why the pigs deal with us like this in our communities is because it's a message that's sent down directly, indirectly, covertly, overtly, articulated or not articulated. It's a message that comes down through roll call at the Oakland Police Department. The United States Army, the Marines, the Air Force, it's a message sent down to every parasitical merchant in your community. You know, it's a message sent down to every slum lord in your community. Man, go do what you want to do to him. Without no repercussions. And we got to send a message that we don't care what puppets, what Novocaine Negroes, or who they put up, you know what I'm saying? If they don't speak in the interest of the people, man, man, they don't speak for us. They don't speak for us. That's right. Okay, these can't go pop up nobody in the middle of the middle say, oh, that's your sports person. No, no. We don't people, you know what I'm saying? On a day to day basis. You know what I'm saying? Again, we got to be consistent with that message. Again, thank y'all for coming out here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the sake of time, we know it's a weekday. We're going to have three questions. And then, you know, they'll be around informally for a while so you can ask your questions individually. But we don't want to hold everybody captive. You know, it's a lot of people that got to go to work and school and out of that respect. So does anybody have any questions for any of the panelists? You know, we ask that you make your way because we are taping this for later radio broadcasts and web broadcasts. So does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Okay. In the case of my son, Lorante Studisville, Got shot in the back by the police in 2007. It was on the news. It said that they he, uh, swallowed some dope and that was a probable cause, right? There's no dope in his stomach. It said he had a gun. We have no gun to this date. He's facing charges, but there's no gun. There's nothing like that. So now I'm wondering this. Now that we're still fighting the case and now we, my son's still facing charges and uh, the officer involved... Was he uh, Alan Leal. Alan Leal. Yeah, Alan Leal. In that situation, when J.R. And I, and I, uh, told me to go to town hall meeting, they wouldn't let me ask questions about my son. They wanted to talk about the cars that parked outside. They wanted to talk about uh, who robbed or burglarized the car or who uh, stormed bottles outside. They wanted to talk. The captain, I believe, he turned away from me. He said, I'll talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. I said, won't you talk to me with all these people? And so what I'm trying to wonder now, now that the case died down and now that other people have died, other children, my son was the first one, I think, they started this all off. My son was the first one who got shot. I'm wondering how I'm going to keep the voice out there, how I'm going to fight these people, because ain't nobody running to me. When Jesse Jackson first came, when it first happened, people ran to me. But when it, you know, when they said he did something wrong, or he must have did something wrong, he, he, he was guilty. Then he, then he sell dope, he said he was a dope dealer. Now ain't nobody talking to us, you know what I'm trying to say? Now my son is affected. Our relationship ain't even the same. He don't, ain't nobody helping us, you feel what I'm trying to say? So I want to know what resources y'all might know, everybody in here, to where we can still keep this uh, going for my family and other families of kids who are still alive. Well, briefly, why don't you give the people like a quick brief update on what happened and when it happened? Because he was one of the feature people too. We might as well take care of that now. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm Don Sanders. Ronte Studentsville in West Oakland over here, 20, 20, 22nd Market. He was in East Oakland the night before 4th of July, and uh, his kid, he was kicking with his friends. Police pulled up on him. He said the police officer tried to hit him with his car, so he just broke. Uh, my son ain't no angel. I know he'll be out there doing his thing, but whatever the case is, he had nothing on him when it got to him. We ain't had no guns to this day. The judges even asked the DA, where's the, uh, where's the evidence? It's a whole bunch of paperwork, but there's no evidence. There's no gun still. 
I'm trying to say he's still alive. He ain't dead. You know what I'm trying to say? So that's that's basically the cap of the case. Alan Leo shot him in his back. The neighbors said they heard pow, get down. That's what the neighbors heard. Okay, so in the midst of all this, it seems like my son is getting some kind of leniency in that don't nothing seem to pop up, but he's still facing a charge. And the officer is still he on duty. He on duty. And there's been seven shootings since then of children, of people in the back, or murders in cars, or whatever's going on. Ain't nobody paying attention. When I was on the radio with him, when I was on YouTube, everywhere, nobody paying attention. So that's the breakdown of my case. But still the question remains the same. I don't have the tools, I don't have the money to, to, to fight these people. John Burr's my attorney, I ain't talked to him in a minute, but it seems like if it ain't newsworthy, then you ain't worthy. Anybody want to take that? Brother, I think that there's so many cases that should be put in the front that sometimes we're just not aware of. We've been town halling every Saturday for the last few weeks at 4 o'clock at Olivet Missionary Baptist. And one of the things that we want to do is give voice to those that have suffered. And so why don't we make sure we're together so we can put what you're dealing with in front of the public view. If you get the, uh, the new Final Call newspaper, for an example, that just came out today, it features Oakland again. In fact, I only have one. They just, they're hot off the press. And on the cover, the cover story is the high price of police brutality. And when you read the story there, and I just kind of browsed before I came here, it deals with the millions of dollars that cities are paying. They don't have jobs for people because they're spending millions and millions of dollars to respond to cases like yours. And of course, Attorney Burris is one of those that's making the city pay. And that's okay, but it's not the equal of justice and law enforcement officers. And they have to so I'm not fully aware of the case, uh, but I want to be. So, you should come and bring the information with you. Let's sit down, let's talk, and strategize so we can help put your case right back on the front of the public. Go ahead.